Did you know that the universe we know about is just a tiny speck? The actual universe is 500 times larger than the universe we know. 500 times. Do you know what that means? The area outside the universe we know is moving away from us at a speed higher than the speed of light, so we will never be able to see it. How crazy is that? Every time we look at the sky, we wonder, how big is the universe? Is there an edge, a final frontier where it all ends? Or does it just go on forever? How do we measure something so incomprehensibly vast? And most importantly, what mysteries are hiding in those unobservable depths? Buckle up because today we're diving into the science, the possibilities, and the mind-bending implications of a universe that's way bigger than we can see. First, let's break down what we mean by the observable universe. Why is there a limit to what we can see? And how do scientists even estimate the size of the cosmos beyond that boundary? What is the observable universe? To understand the universe's true size, we first need to talk about the part we can actually see. The observable universe is the spherical region of space that light has had time to travel to us since the Big Bang, about 13.8 billion years ago. This means that everything we can detect, galaxies, stars, and cosmic phenomena, is limited by the speed of light and the age of the universe. Right now, the observable universe's radius is around 46.5 billion light years, or 93 billion light years across. That's huge, but it's not the whole story. This cosmic bubble isn't the edge of existence, it's just the limit of what we can see. So what lies beyond? And why can't we see beyond? Imagine standing on a mountaintop surrounded by thick fog. You can only see as far as the fog allows, but you know there's more beyond it. That's essentially what's happening with the observable universe. The fog in this case is the finite speed of light and the age of the universe. Because light takes time to travel, looking at distant galaxies is like looking back in time. Beyond a certain distance, the universe is expanding so rapidly that light from those regions will never reach us, no matter how long we wait. This creates a horizon, the boundary of the observable universe. But here's the kicker. Just because we can't see beyond the horizon doesn't mean there's nothing there. In fact, the maths tells us otherwise. How do we know the universe is bigger? Scientists use the Cosmic Microwave Background, or CMB, as a kind of universal map. This faint glow of radiation is the afterglow of the Big Bang, and its patterns reveal clues about the universe's size, shape, and structure. By analyzing the CMB, researchers found that the universe appears flat, meaning it's not curved like a sphere or a saddle. A flat universe suggests it's likely infinite, or at least vastly larger than what we can observe. Using models of inflation, the rapid expansion that occurred right after the Big Bang, scientists estimate the universe is at least 500 times larger than the observable universe. Imagine the observable universe as a grain of sand on an endless beach. What could be out there, beyond our cosmic horizon? So what's hiding in the regions beyond our cosmic horizon? Here's where things get exciting. First, there are more galaxies. If the observable universe contains about two trillion galaxies, the unobservable regions could contain quadrillions or even more. But it's not just galaxies. There could be completely different physical laws, strange particles, or even parallel universes out there. Some theories suggest our universe might be one of many in a vast multiverse. Each universe could have its own unique properties, dimensions, and even versions of reality. Is there another you out there living a different life? We don't know, but the possibility is tantalizing. Thinking about the universe's true scale raises profound questions. If the cosmos is so vast, what does that mean for our place in it? Are we insignificant or does our ability to ask these questions make us special? The sheer size of the universe can feel overwhelming, but it also reminds us of the endless possibilities for discovery and connection. Every star we see, every galaxy we study is part of a story billions of years in the making, and we're lucky to be part of it. What's next for exploration? So what's next in our quest to understand the universe? New telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope are already peering deeper into space than ever before. And future missions, like next generation gravitational wave detectors, might help us glimpse beyond the observable universe by detecting the faint ripples of cosmic events. 
We're also exploring concepts like interstellar probes and even theoretical warp drives that could one day take us beyond our solar system. The journey to understand the universe has only just begun. Why it matters. The universe is unimaginably vast and we've barely scratched the surface of what's out there. Knowing it's at least 500 times larger than what we can see reminds us of our curiosity, our drive to explore, and our place in the cosmos. But here's the question that keeps us looking up. What if the most incredible discoveries are still waiting out there, just beyond our reach? The answers we find will reshape everything we know about existence itself. And for every question we answer, a thousand more will arise. That's the beauty of science and exploration. It's endless. So as we venture further into the unknown, one thing is clear. The universe isn't just something we're part of. It's part of us. And who knows? Perhaps one day we'll uncover the mysteries of the unobservable and it will change not just how we see the universe, but how we see ourselves. If this video sparked your curiosity, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more explorations of the wonders of the universe. And remember, the next time you look up at the stars, you're seeing just the beginning of something far greater. Thanks for watching.